A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had ascended into heaven, the apostles went back to Jerusalem a short distance away, no more than a Sabbath walk. And when they reached the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. There were Peter and John, James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Jude, son of James. All these joined in continuous prayer, together with several women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy is his name. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy is his name. My soul glorifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her loneliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy is his name. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. The Almighty, the Almighty works, works marvels for, for me, holy is his, his name. name. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things sends the rich away empty. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy is his name. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy is his name. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice so highly favored, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favor. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, the, an the angel answered and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be holy and will be called Son of God. Know this too, your kinswoman Elizabeth has in her old age herself conceived a son, and she whom people called barren is now in her six months, <clears throat> for nothing is impossible to God. I am the handmaid of the Lord, said Mary. Let what you have said be done to me. And the angel left her. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. 
<coughs> Here in Clonard, we have a strong devotion to our Blessed Mother. And every Thursday, we gather to celebrate the Novena in her honor. I am also glad to see many of you praying the Rosary before the 7 a.m. Mass each day. This commitment to prayer is a powerful and beautiful witness, and we must continue to hold fast to these devotions, especially in the troubled times we live in. The Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary reminds us of the power of the Rosary, a prayer that has brought comfort, peace, and miracles throughout the centuries. As we pray, we join countless others throughout the world and across time who, call, who have called on Mary's intercession in moments of personal and global crisis. The Rosary is not just repetitive words, but a deep meditation on the mysteries of Christ's life, death, and resurrection, seen through the eyes of his loving mother. At a time when many are leaving their faith or struggling with doubt, our prayer becomes even more important. We pray not just for ourselves, but for the world, for those who are suffering, for those who have lost hope, and for those who no longer see the fellow of faith. In the Rosary, we ask Mary to guide them back to her son, to open their hearts to his love and mercy, just as he was a source of strength to the early church. Together with the disciples, she remains a source of strength for us today. As we celebrate this feast of Our Lady of the Rosary, let us recommit ourselves to this beautiful devotion. Let us continue to turn to our Blessed Mother with faith and trust knowing that she hears our prayers and brings them to her son. In the face of doubt, let us be steadfast in prayer. In the face of a world that often seems to turn away from God, let us turn more fully towards him with the help of our Blessed Mother. May Our Lady of the Rosary intercede for us, for the Church, and for the world. May she continue to protect us, guide us, and bring us closer to her Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat>